Ranbir Kapoor and Alia Bhatt got married in a very hush-hush ceremony in April 2022. The actors were dating for quite some time and finally decided to make it official. But their hush-hush wedding and the arrival of their baby soon after are all immersed in gossip. Here are some of the lesser-known facts about Alia and Ranbir's marriage. The only reason the Casanova of Bollywood decided to tie the knot was because Alia Bhatt trapped him. It is no surprise that they got married only because Alia got pregnant. Alia has always shown her interest in Ranbir even when the actor was in other relationships, including his serious six-year relationship with actress Katrina Kaif. Alia is incredibly cunning and clever and was always set on marrying Bollywood royalty. If it was not Ranbir Kapoor, it would have been someone even bigger. But luckily for Alia, Ranbir's mother, Neetu Kapoor, was never fond of any of his girlfriends and had openly expressed her displeasure regarding Katrina Kaif. Even before breaking up with Katrina, Ranbir did hook up with Alia in 2016. When Katrina came to know about this, she cut Alia off her guest list for her parties. Alia used to frequently visit director Ayan Mukherjee's place and was a constant at all of Ranbir, Katrina, and Ayan's parties. Ranbir was forced to break up with Katrina as his father, Rishi Kapoor was struggling with cancer and he had to move in with his parents. Alia stalked Ranbir for a long time, studied his behavior to appear compatible, observed his ex-girlfriends to avoid the mistakes that ruined their relationship with Ranbir, and studied his family dynamic to fit in and get their approval. Everyone considers Karan Johar as Alia's godfather who gives her everything on a platter, including movies and publicity. But the real mastermind behind Alia's successful career and life is her mother Soni Razdan who keeps a close eye on everything, including who she interacts with and lets into her life. Alia's mother made Karan Johar manipulate Ranbir's family into believing that Alia is the perfect one for Ranbir. Karan was more than happy to oblige and the constant pressure and manipulation from Neetu Kapoor gradually resulted in Ranbir dating Alia. Everything was working really well but there was no sign of marriage as Ranbir kept delaying the wedding because he was not that into the relationship. Once the shooting of the film Brahmastra was over and the film, which bound them together, was about to release, Alia knew she would lose Ranbir. Given his playboy image, it was only a matter of time before he broke up with Alia and moved on to another heroine. Alia carefully planned her pregnancy and trapped Ranbir into marrying her. Neetu Kapoor who was well aware of Ranbir's personal and professional life not going anywhere, wanted her son to at least have a family. Ranbir is no more a youngster and his charm is fading away. The best thing from Neetu Kapoor's perspective was for him to marry Alia who was bearing his child. The marriage was arranged by Ranbir and Alia's parents and things turned out just the way they wanted with Alia becoming pregnant. The couple became parents of a baby girl in November 2022, just seven months after their wedding. Though Alia Bhatt became a Kapoor Bahu, Ranbir was not ready to settle in or remain faithful to her. During the filming of Tu Juthi Main Makkar, Ranbir got into a relationship with his co-star Shraddha Kapoor. They continuously hooked up on the movie set and the director had to get involved. But the news eventually reached Alia who is incredibly image conscious. Alia interfered in the matter because of the impact the affair would have on her image and marriage. As a result, Ranbir and Shraddha were not allowed to promote the movie together. The promotions were done separately which is super weird for a romantic comedy as it is expected from the leads of such genre to promote the film together. On top of all this, Alia also has other issues to deal with. She seems to be obsessed with Ranbir's ex-girlfriends, Deepika Padukone and Katrina Kaif. She is always trying to one-up them by doing exactly what they are doing. For instance, Alia is trying to be director Sanjay Leela Bhansali's new favorite and replace Deepika. She is trying to imitate Katrina by going the entrepreneurial route. Things do not look that bright in Alia's family life as there seem to be hiccups in the Kapoor Khandan. Sources close to the actors claim that Ranbir's mother and sister are not happy with Alia. The Kapoor family rarely comes to support her work and Alia is rarely seen in the family gatherings. Even though Alia may have gotten what she wanted, Ranbir will never remain loyal to her or support her. Over the years, she will just be another actress who puts up with her husband's infidelities and is unable to divorce him due to insecurity.